Back to Reality Brand X Report 2021-22 is being released. Uh, I have the first copy in my hands. And like every year, people are asking what is one significant trend for the fiscal year 2021-22. Uh, the most interesting aspect of this fiscal year is that post-COVID, the K-shape recovery, much talked about K-shape recovery has become an industry standard. Uh, some of the leading brands, say around 2025, uh, stock market listed leading players have gained the ground considerably. Uh, they are selling their inventory faster, they are getting premium for their product. But this K-shape recovery and the growth of the larger players is at the cost of the large universe of the developers. Now, whether this is a good news or a bad news, good news because branded developers are uh, getting recognition, they are getting traction, but can a handful of developers serve up the pan-India market in a country where housing shortage is huge? So this will remain debatable whether this case of recovery is a boon or bane, but one thing which could be definitely be vouchsafed at this point of time is that the brands have to be controversy free. The national brand leader of last fiscal year, Godrej Properties, did not do something uh, wrong as far as their product positioning or marketing strategy is concerned. But one controversy that did not go well with their minority stakeholders was to join hands with DB Realty and that uh, led to uh, Godrej Properties coming down to number two brand. Similarly, during this period, Sobha Limited, which was number two last year, did not do something considerably different. Yet, the fact that Godrej Properties had scaled down, Sobha developers become number one brand yet again. There are certain brands, for example, Suntec Realty, that has stormed into uh, national top 10 for the first time this fiscal year, there is a very significant trend with them. Uh, this is probably the only brand which has in its investor presentation accepted the mistakes that they committed during the year and the corrective actions that they have taken. How many Indian developers are known to accept their fault lines? This is where Suntec Realty proved to be different and this is how they came into reckoning as one of the top 10 national players. By and large, most of the top 10 players have some sort of balance in fiscal efficiency, product efficiency, and operational efficiency. There are certain other brands who built brand on the basis of large scale uh, you know, marketing spend, creating iconic projects, but failed to live up to the expectations failed to deliver and they could not find a place in the national top 10. Another significant trend, and this is coming out of the public perception survey is that the developers continue to, bigger brand or smaller brand doesn't matter, the uh, developers continue to insert the intelligence of the home buyers. The industry narrative that all is well, this is the best time to buy a house, is not going down well with the average home buyer. The average home buyers across the country in our Pan-India survey are questioning which uh, sentiments these surveys are reflecting. In a market where job losses and salary cut is a reality, most of the home buyers are questioning which uh, sentiments uh, these surveys reflect. Uh, Buyers are continue to continue to ask questions and developers has absolutely no answer to it. Overall, there has not been very many new significant trends during the year. Trend number one, this K-shape recovery is an industry accepted reality now. Uh, lesson number two, the brands have to be uh, controversy free. Lesson number three, even if you make a mistake, you should be upfront in accepting it. These are a few trends, but last but not the least, the industry has to accept the fact that they cannot uh, insert the intelligence of the home buyers. 
these are some of the findings of track to reality brand x report 2021-22 it's out in the market and i would love to have your feedback comments and suggestions for the same this is with ravi sinha signing off